got in last night at like 5 o'clock. Do you have a chance to really see anybody? Yeah, I saw my parents. Uh, my fiance is here in town. Uh, I saw my sister over here today. But uh, I got some other family that I get to talk about. My brother wants to talk about. I mean, how rare is it that you get to make a trip home and you get to play some baseball in front of your family now? It's uh, pretty rare, isn't it? <laughs> it's, uh, in this game, especially, you know, a lot of, not a lot of people from Rochester. So not a lot of people, are, you know, even from the places where there is more than the baseball, get a chance to go back and play at home. Uh, so this is just really cool, something that you know, I've always wanted to do. I'm lucky that I've got a chance to do it a couple times. And now you also came up with a game winning hit, it turns out you're. Your uh, two-run double there puts you up uh, seven to two. So how's how's that feel? Uh, yes. Knocking off your hometown team. Good to, you know, to get a couple of hits, a couple of RBIs. It was nice. And other guys on the team did a really good job. Haven't been at bats, pitches, haven't seen the game. Yeah, it's been a while. Yeah, it's been a while. Well, how much did that kind of I mean? It's not the hometown field, which is you kind of have to have that home field atmosphere for you. Who got to watch you play tonight? Um, just my family's here. My fiance's here. Um, I saw, you know, a couple people in the stands. I saw one in my high school baseball field. Uh, it's always cool to be able to look at the stands and see people that you recognize. So, you know, hopefully I'll, I'll see a few more people in the next couple games. So, uh, hopefully get a chance to say hi and uh, thank you for coming. Well, you know, being on the road so much, getting to look into the stands and, and see your fiancé, see your high school baseball coach, how much does that contribute to you having the performance that you had out there tonight? Well, it means a lot. I mean, comfort is everything. What was your feeling there in the fourth inning when they uh, walked the ninth batter to load the bases with one out and you come up to the plate? Second leading hitter in the aisle coming into the game. And, uh, <laughs> You know, to a person who, who might not understand baseball as much, it kind of seems weird. It's like, oh, you know, why would they do that? And this guy might be doing better than this guy, but, you know, it's kind of a, a baseball, pretty regular baseball play. Baseball can try to, you know, give, give him a chance to get another play. So, uh, we don't look too much into that. It was something I kind of expected. He got the double, but it wasn't the play. It was for two runs. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It was good. It was good. <laughs> When's the last time you can remember playing baseball in your Rochester? Uh, actually, last year I got to come here, so that was pretty cool. Uh, but before that, it was like seven or eight years, so it's uh, been a little bit. It's, been a while, so it's always good to be able to come back. And it turns out in the last six days, you're the second Rochester born player to beat the Red Wings. <laughs> Cedar Culver did it Sunday, really? had a bunt single for Scranton Wilkesbury, I think awesome. it was in the bottom of the 11th. Really? Yeah, to that's, beat that's pretty cool. I, I stayed with Cedar. We grew up together and played together, so I uh, wish him all the best. <laughs> Always like seeing him across the ball. Now, have you guys played uh, Scranton Wilkes Way this year? We yeah, have, yes. We actually we played them at home in Hunter, so I don't think we played them anymore. The past couple of years, I've got a chance to see him play against him involved in dinner after the game and stuff. So it's always good to see a familiar face. Right.